Well, though it's come under fire in two separate state backed reports, Georgia lawmakers appear to be sticking behind the state program that has fueled the state's film industry. <coughs> Yet a film industry insider says the state may need to pay closer attention to how the state tax credit is used. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. Jennifer, the film industry tax credit has had pretty firm bipartisan support at the Georgia Capitol. If there are big cracks in that support, it's not showing yet. The state audit says Georgia's tax credits for filmmakers are the most generous in America. The question now for lawmakers is whether they are too generous or too easily abused by filmmakers. The audit shows filmmakers got millions in tax credits for ineligible expenses, including for work done outside the state or for expenses unrelated to film production. The audit says the state should pay closer attention. And one film industry auditor says that's probably a good idea. In fact, I, I think I agree with a lot of the recommendations of the audit report, which is to have you know a little bit more oversight. But Peter Stathopoulos cautions against changing the tax credit program itself which has distributed billions in government subsidies to a film industry now thriving in Georgia as a result. This week's audit comes on the heels of another report from Kennesaw State University, which says the much repeated claim of the film industry's value of nine and a half billion dollars lacks any economic justification, saying it was actually less than half of that. Instead of creating 92,000 jobs, as the state has said, the KSU study says the actual number is about one third of that. There are some 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 valid concerns about how the taxes are collected, how how it's recorded. Democrat Terry Anulowitz is among the lawmakers saying Georgia's film industry has become too important to disassemble based on flawed execution of the tax credit. Republican Steve Gooch agrees. If there's indications of fraud and abuse and you would address those issues first and not overreact by repealing the entire tax credit. Earlier this week uh, we talked with State Senator Lindsey Tippins who told me that he thinks that the state needs to take a cold look at the film tax credit in light of a tight state budget. Legislators are expecting auditors from Georgia Tech to deliver another report on the film tax credit in the coming weeks, Jeff.